What is going on guys, I'm Adriano. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create a serverless glue ETL job that filters your data based on specific criteria with no code using AWS Glue Studio. So my table we'll be working with here, I got some fake customer data. So we're gonna create an ETL job that filters based on the department ID and the gender. So in the end, we should only have customers that are from the human resources department and who are males. All right, so let's get started with Glue Studio. So I'm going to first go to create a new job. I'm going to hit blank graph. And now we're going to open up our graph mode. And first things first, we're going to add our data set in. So I'm going to go to add a new node. And I'm going to call this S3 data source. And the node type is going to be S3 because this is where my data is coming from. I'm just going to select my table. And we're going to be working with the customer department joined data set and that is everything for this node so now we're going to add our transform to filter our data so we're going to call this the filter transform and the node type here is going to be from the transform section and it's going to be filter now the node is going to be from our original s3 data source so that's going to be connected there now we're going to go to the transform tab now here is where we're going to put in our filter options. So I'm going to want to go to add a condition. Now I'm going to go to the actual department ID. And now I'm going to make that equal to eight. So AWS Glue Studio is smart enough to understand that your data is a number. So it allows you to do some various options. So you can do equal to, greater than, less than, and so on. So now we're going to add our second key, which was that gender key. So I'm going to hit gender. Now, what you notice here is we don't have that number option because this was a string. Now we're going to put in our Python 3 regular expression. So I'm going to do starts with male and ends with the dollar sign. What does this do? So if we look at our regular expression tester with this specific regular expression, it's only going to return strings that are exactly male, regardless if male comes at the front, it's lowercase, or male is at the end of a string. All right, so that's good. One thing I wanna point out is if you wanted to use a filter to select any of the keys that was one or the other, then you're gonna to wanna to select the global or filter. But in my case, I want department ID and the gender to equal both of the values. So I'm gonna select global and. All right, so that looks good for our transformation. Now, the last step here is to just write our data. All right, so I'm gonna to click to add another node. And now this node is going to be target of S3 and the parent node is gonna be that filter transform that we just created there. And now we're gonna to have to go in and put in our output schema. So I wanna write this to parquet, and the compression is just gonna be gzip compression. And now we're gonna to have to choose our S3 target location. So I'm just gonna to go to browse S3. I'm gonna to go to that S3 bucket that I just created before making this video, which is completely empty. So I'm just gonna select that bucket and hit choose. So the parquet files are now gonna be dumped to this file. All right, and that looks good. And now you can see all the code generated from this Glue Studio graph view. All right, so now we're gonna to go to job details. I'm just gonna give it a name called filtering customer data. And I'm gonna give it an IM role, which will have access to those S3 buckets. I'm gonna use Glue 2.0, which is the latest. And language, I'm going to leave it as Python 3. Worker type, g.1x is fine. And my data is very small, so I'm going to do the minimum amount of workers that I could run, which is two. I'm going to leave bookmarking to be enabled. Retries one, and maximum time is going to be five minutes. All right, so I'm just going to save it and give that job a run. All right, so now if we go to the Run Details tab, we're going to see that our job is being executed. All right, so when your job is complete, you should see the run status as succeeded. And now, now let's take a quick look at what the data looks like. So I'm just going to go to AWS Athena here. This was the original data source. I'm just going to go to a new query. Uh, I've already pasted the query to create this data. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just creating this table so I can bring it into AWS Athena here. Uh, I'm just designating the location, which is that AWS S3 bucket that we just wrote our data to. Now, when I run this query and it's successful, we should now see that new data coming in as a table. All right, so now let's just write a query to see what the data looks like. I'm just gonna do select all from, uh, 
customer underscore analytics dot customer department underscore mail underscore engineer and that works we should see a result now if i want to see you know what our count is i'm just going to do count all and we have 211 records that have been returned and if we do our if we look at our original data what are you going to see here we have a total of 5,000 records. So looks like our job was successful. We were able to filter out our data and now we have a new output with our specified criteria. I hope this video was helpful and you now know how to use AWS Glue Studio to create a serverless glue job that filters your data. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next tutorial. See you next time.